Hey what's up you guys, it's Sydney and today I'm going to be filming a little bit different of a video. It is not my normal makeup tutorial, this is a lot more personal and just like me talking the whole time. I got around 5 or 6 requests, which is a lot for me considering like my following and stuff, um, to do like a get to know me video or like 50 things about me type thing because I really haven't done a personal type video like in about a year just because I've always thought they were kind of boring just because I feel like you don't learn anything from it or like learn a technique or something makeup related. I don't know, it's just a personal thing, but if you like more personal videos, I can always do more. So today I didn't pick like a certain tag or anything, I just came up with a few questions or little, yeah, questions that I made up myself that I thought would be more interesting than your typical like random facts or whatever. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I have is describe yourself in five words. And I already kind of pre-planned what I'm going to say because I didn't want to have to think about it on camera. So if I was going to describe myself in five words, I am very particular. Like I like everything a very certain way. I'm kind of a perfectionist. I'm very expressive. If you like really get to know me, my facial expressions are so ridiculous. They're so like dramatic and that's actually my next word. I'm very dramatic. Um, I kind of like whine a lot, I guess, which isn't the best thing, but like if my parents tell me to do something, I'll kind of be like, oh my god, like I can't believe I have to do it. But obviously I'm being sarcastic, but I guess I'm just a really dramatic person. And I am also very motivated. I am very goal oriented, like like if I'm put my mind to something, I'll make sure it's done the best possible and like it's well done up to my personal standards, so I'm motivated to like be the best I can be at whatever I'm doing, I guess. And last but not least, I think I'm very open. I'm very open-minded. I like to be very accepting of all different like sexualities, races, like everything like that. So I like to be very inclusive of people. So quickly, I am particular, expressive, dramatic, motivated, and open. Next, I have my age. A few people have asked. I am 15 years old and I'm going to be turning 16 on June 29th, so it's pretty soon and I'm very, very excited because I can finally get my license and I swear I've been waiting forever to get my license. I just want to be able to drive and get out of the house. The next thing I have is what my ethnicity is. A few people have asked this as well. I am half Haitian, so from Haiti, and then the other half is Chinese. Now for some more fun questions. I have my favorite songs at the moment, and I have a few. First, I am so good at being in trouble by Unknown Mortal Orchestra, and it is such a good song. I can like link the um YouTube videos to those songs in the description below. It's so so good. Um, I would describe my music taste as kind of more indie or alternative. Definitely alternative, not like your typical like pop or anything. Next I have Famous by Kanye West. It is from his new album The Life of Pablo and I know some people really hate Kanye and no I don't think he's the best person but I love his music and I'm going to his concert and I'm so so excited for it and last but not least I have The Sweet Life by Frank Ocean and this is from his last album which is like kind of old now because he hasn't come out with a new one which is really frustrating but it is such a good song I just love it it's such a good like driving song song I feel like and I have to sing to it every single time next I have my favorite songs of all time but not really because they kind of change and I didn't um, write down all of them because I think there are too many. The first one is Till There Was You by The Beatles. It is just like the cutest most adorable little tune and I think it's just a really fun happy song. And then I have Sound and Color by Alabama Shakes which is so so gorgeous like whenever I listen to it I seriously have to like turn off the lights and focus. Nobody can speak. It has to be a very emotional moment for me just because that song is so uh what's the word it's so complex and deep and like there's so many layers and everything oh my god it's so good and next i have everybody wants to rule the world by tears for fears and this is a really old song i do like a lot of older music and it's just like a jam like i will get down all the time to that song and last but not least i have baby be mine by michael jackson 
which is just like my dancing song because I have it on record and I will seriously dance around my room like an idiot listening to that song. It is so, so fun and upbeat and it's just really cute. I want it to be my wedding song. I think it would be so cute. Next, I have my favorite stores and I might have mentioned this before. My top three are Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, and Zara. I just love them so much. This is actually from Brandy Melville. Next, I have my favorite pastimes. I wasn't really sure because I'm a very, like, boring person. I don't know. I mean, of course, I experiment with makeup all the time in my free time. What else do I do? I love to find new music. I go on Spotify and, like, my little Discover Weekly thing, which, like, gives you recommendations. I love it so much. I like to pick from there. What do I like to do? Of course, I like to watch YouTube videos and makeup tutorials. And I love... Okay, this is kind of, like, a guilty pleasure. I watch a lot of, like, really low-quality TV shows on Netflix. Like, The Vampire Diaries, it is so low quality. Like, the plot is ridiculous. The acting is not that great. But I get so hooked on it. Like, I'm already in season 6 and I didn't start it that long ago. Like, I finished all of 90210, which is very extremely low quality. I don't know why. It's probably an awful way to spend my free time. But I just get hooked on these not-so-great shows. But I swear, they will suck you in. Watch one episode and you're hooked. Now, kind of a little segue back to my guilty pleasures. Cheesecake is a guilty pleasure. It is my favorite dessert. I would say it is so so good. Ugh, the Cheesecake Factory is my shit. Like I can't, like it hurts my heart to think about the Cheesecake Factory. I love it so much. Um, I'm a bored eater, so if I'm like really bored or nothing to do, I will just go get a snack, which is probably why I am not the ideal weight that I would like to be. And another guilty pleasure of mine, I love making cookies, like the little break and bake ones from Nestle Toll House. They're so, so good. Another little segue um, into weaknesses. I think my biggest weakness is like my self-esteem issues with my body and such. Um, I'm not good at working out. I hate running. Like I seriously, every time I start running, I physically feel like my heart is like breaking. That's probably because I haven't conditioned myself to it at all. I'm not comfortable with my body at all. I exclusively wear oversized like shirts and stuff. I'm trying to get more comfortable with um, tighter clothing, but I do, I'm not like happy with my body and I do want to get there. I just, I hate torturing myself. Like I hate working out because then I feel so miserable, but I think in the long run, I'll have to get used to it eventually. I don't know. We'll get there, maybe. Next, I have my favorite qualities about myself. I am a perfectionist, and I think I like that about myself. It keeps everything in order. Um, I like, like I said earlier, I'm very particular, and I like everything a certain way. Kind of on that same um, idea, I have very high expectations. So I think I have high expectations for the people I hang out with and the people I surround myself with and for the quality of everything. I always have very high expectations that I do not accept things like lower than what I would want, I guess, I don't know. And I am very goal oriented, like I'm a dreamer. I have my goal future planned out and I wanna do as much as I can to get there to that goal place in my life where I'm happy in an adorable New York apartment with a cute French bulldog and an attractive boyfriend, like that's my goal. And I want to work really hard to get there. Now on a more negative note, my least favorite qualities about myself. I'm a very jealous person um, and I'm very competitive. Like I like to be the best at everything I do, which can be good, but also cannot be. I just like, if someone has a shirt that I like, I just get kind of like, ugh, instead of being, or um, I'm trying to think of like a good thing. Like instead of being happy for someone, if they have something that I don't, that I want, instead of being like, oh my god, that's so good, I'm so glad for you, I'm just kind of like, ew, that's annoying. Which I know is totally the wrong outlook on life, and I know that I have to fix that about myself. I'm self-aware that I need to get better and less jealous and be more positive towards people and that what they have they've probably worked really hard for and if I work just as hard I can get that as well. And now my goals for the future, my like game plan, I have most of it um, set up. I am currently a going into junior year and 
my goal college is I want to get into FIT, which is the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. They have a beauty and fragrance marketing major, which is my dream. That's exactly what I want to go into. So I would want to do that and then maybe like advertising or something like that on the side. That's my ideal kind of path, I guess. And then I would want to ideally work for a cosmetic company in New York or maybe in San Francisco because a lot of them are based there as well. Now for my ideal partner. For a boyfriend, fun fact, I have never had a boyfriend, like a serious boyfriend. I had a boyfriend in like fifth grade, but other than that, I've never had a boyfriend. I have not had my first kiss yet. I've never gone on a date, anything like that. I am extremely lame, but I think that kind of ties into my high expectation issue. But for an ideal partner, I want someone that is motivated so they have goals set, they have dreams, they want to achieve things they want to do in life. I want someone that's educated, that isn't really ignorant, that's um, globally aware, and brush up on like social topics and stuff like that so I can engage with them on an intellectual type thing just because I don't want someone that's really ignorant because I just can't handle that. I hate closed-minded people who aren't open to new ideas and stuff like that and I want someone who, who is, yeah, that tied in, open-minded so somebody who is equally as accepting of other people just because I don't think I could handle being with someone who isn't. And last but not least, I have my favorite places to visit. My family loves to travel. I've been lucky enough to travel out of the country many times and I picked three of my favorite places. One, Venice, Italy. It is the most gorgeous place ever. It is like a postcard everywhere, everywhere you look. It's just like a dream. Like I swear every time I go there I'm like, are you kidding me? It's so beautiful and Everything is just so surreal. Oh my god, I love it. And on that same idea, Paris. I've been to Paris twice. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. I swear I feel like I'm in a movie every time I walk through. Everything is just pretty and you can walk and go to like a cute little bistro on the side of the road and then go like look at the Eiffel Tower. It's just, everything is like a dream, I swear. And then in the United States, my two favorite places are Soho, New York. I think it is just the most adorable little shopping area. If I could have an apartment in Soho, that would be my dream. I just think it's so pretty and then if you go in the spring, they have those really pretty like white trees and there's little petals everywhere and like cute girls are walking their little dogs and it's just so cute. I love it. And last but not least, Santa Monica, California. It is so, so pretty to me. I love the pier. I love the atmosphere. I would love to like get an apartment. Um, looking over the water, but of course that is so expensive. The amount of times I said love in that past few seconds, wow. Okay, this is getting really long, so far I'm at 14 minutes. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with my little list, and this video might be really long. I'm sorry about that, but I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better. I'm sorry if my channel feels impersonal at times. If you have any other video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this type of video, let me know and give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, if you're feeling extra nice, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. about this makeup look. Look at that damn highlight. My god. Somebody asked me to do a glowy makeup tutorial and this was not that hard and it's very very glowy. I don't know. I might wait because I just ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette and a few NARS eyeshadows and the um, Becca liquid um, liquid highlighter. So I think that will all tie in. Maybe that will be my next tutorial. I don't know. Okay.